Thank you, thank you, Adonai, for everything you're doing. Thank you for this night that you've given to us. Let us all settle down and let us realize what it is that you want from us this evening, what um, you want us to learn from you today, and that we may grow in knowledge of you, that we may grow in your, your love and understanding. In your name, Yeshua. Amen. 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 All right. Tonight, Esta noche. tonight is the feast of Pesach. Esta noche es la fiesta de Pascua. Okay, go to the next slide. Many people say that this did not happen. Mucha gente dice que esto no ocurrió. Many people say that this, what we're doing, never really occurred. Mucha gente dice que lo que estamos celebrando nunca ocurrió. My mother used to say the Bible is a collection of stories. Mi, er, mi madre decía que la Biblia era una colección de historias. But tonight we're going to find out that it is true that this did happen. Pero hoy día nos vamos a dar cuenta que esto en verdad ocurrió. Next slide, please. Did this scene really happen? Esta escena realmente ocurrió. Did, did, did six million Jewish people Seis millones de personas judías, along with the Gentiles junto con los gentiles, a mixed multitude y multitud mixta, did they actually walk through the Reed Sea? Uh, verdaderamente ellos caminaron por medio del mar. Some people say that that never happened. O algunos dicen que eso nunca pasó. That this could have never happened. Que nunca pudo haber pasado. That all these people que toda esta gente walked through with water walled up all around them. Que toda esta gente pasó con el agua como pared. Did it happen? Pasó en verdad? How many people think it really happened? ¿Cuántos piensan que esto ocurrió? How many people can prove that it really happened? ¿Cuántos pueden probar que realmente ocurrió? Next picture. Okay, well, some people, this, this happened about 3,500 years ago. Esto ocurrió 3,500 años atrás. When the Lord all night long. Cuando el Señor por toda la noche. Went, and he blew the water back. Él sopló el agua. Scientists say that. This never happened. Los científicos dicen que esto nunca pasó. Next slide. In 1978, en 1978, the Ron Wyatt group, el grupo Ron Wyatt, went to Saudi Arabia. Se fue, fue a Arabia Saudita. And found this column. Y encontraron esta columna. Which says, que dice, on the column, en la columna, in Hebrew, en hebreo, Mitzrayim, Mitzrayim and Saudi Arabia. Y Saudi Arabia, Arabia Saudita. This marked the spot where the Israelites came out of the Red Sea. Esta columna marca Red Sea. Esta columna marca el lugar por donde los israelitas salieron del mar. And there was another column on the other side. Y había otra columna en el otro lado de la playa. That marked the spot que where the Israelites que marcaba el lugar donde los israelitas went in to the Reed Sea. entraron dentro del, del mar. How could all those people ¿Cómo pudo toda esa gente walk through caminar the, the sea por, por, en medio del mar as Pharaoh was chasing them? Mientras el faraón los estaba persiguiendo. You religious people, you're nuts. Tú, ustedes, gente de religión, están locos. To believe this crazy story. Creer esta, este cuento loco. Well, you know, the Lord is wonderful, isn't he? El Señor es maravilloso, ¿verdad? Because every time the world says Porque cada vez que el mundo dice that the Bible is not true, que la Biblia no es cierto, science proves out la the word of God. La ciencia prueba la, la palabra de Dios. Next slide. There you see pictures en estas fotografías, ustedes ven, from a submarine de un submarino that went into the Reed Sea que fue dentro del mar Reed, and found these chariots. Y encontró estas, uh, chariots um, carrozas. Carrozas, yes. 
okay, well, could you please sit down like, and just go like this? Focus in. Focus, Miyagi-san. Yes, focus. Focus your mind. The picture will come to you. I can feel it. <laughs> so here you see a picture of a chariot from uh, Egypt. If you point to that one, Consuelo or Connor. En esta fotografía vemos una carroza de Egipto. That is on the hieroglyphics in Egypt. Y esta se encuentra en los jeroglíficos en Egipto. In that one that Connor's pointing to right now, y la que se está señalando, the gold is still on the wheel. El oro todavía está impregnado en la llanta. Now, most of the time, gold would disappear. Muchas veces el oro desaparece. Because salt water would dissolve the gold, correct? Porque el agua salada disuelve el oro. But there you see something shiny. Pero ustedes ven algo ahí que, que brilla. And there on the left hand side, Connor. Y en la parte izquierda. You see the same style wheel that would have been on a chariot from Egypt. Podemos ver el, el mismo estilo de rueda que hubiera sido de una carroza egipcia. So when atheists want to say this didn't happen, cuando los ateos quieren decir esto no pasó, you show them the pictures. Les muestras esta foto. That these chariots were in 3,000 feet of water. Que estas carrozas las encontraron a 3,000 pies de agua. And the second picture in from the left, en la segunda fotografía a la izquierda, you see the whole axle of a chariot. Ven el axle de la, de la carroza. So did this happen? Esto en verdad pasó? Yes, it did. Amen? Sí, sucedió. Next slide, please. Uh, no, go back to the, with the chariot. Tonight, we're, we're going to speak about esta, Passover. Esta noche vamos a hablar acerca de la Pascua. And each year at this congregation, Cada año en esta congregación, the Lord gives me a, a, a different picture of what Passover is about. And tonight, with this particular Pesach, y esta noche con este, esta Pascua en particular, we're going to see how this is the most important day to God. Vamos a ver que este día es el más importante para Dios. This is a day where he made us a royal priesthood. Este es el día en que él nos hizo un sacerdocio real. That if we would follow that narrow path. Que si hubiéramos seguido ese camino estrecho. You can use my office if you like. It's been used before. Where if we would follow this narrow path. Si seguimos este camino estrecho. And we would walk through. Y caminar, y pasaríamos por. Put yourself in their spot. Imagínate en ese lugar. 3,000 feet of water. 3, on your right. De agua en, de altura. 3,000 feet of water on your left. 3,000 pies de agua a la derecha y a la izquierda. And the only thing you've ever known. Y lo único que tú sabías. Is that you were a slave. Es que tú fuiste un esclavo. For over 400 years, my people were slaves. Por sobre 400 años, mi gente fueron esclavos. And here we had to trust. Y tuvimos que confiar. So Pesach. Pascua. Is about a time. Es acerca de un tiempo. Where each home. Donde cada casa would become a mishkan, a tabernacle. Se convertiría en un tabernáculo. Each home would become its own temple. Cada casa se convertiría en su propio templo. Now, some people say Mucha gente dice that we don't need to do this anymore. Que no necesitamos hacer esto ya más. That the law was nailed to the cross. Que la ley fue clavada en la cruz. How many people have ever heard that one? ¿Cuántos han escuchado eso? And I, 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 I believe that one. Yo creía eso. The law was nailed to the cross. Que la ley fue crucificada. And three days later, it was resurrected again. Tres días después, resucitó. So the law was resurrected. El Señor resucitó. <laughs> because in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Porque en el comienzo la palabra estaba con Dios, la palabra era Dios y el verbo era Dios. Let's start our journey tonight in Exodus chapter 12. Comencemos nuestro caminar en Éxodos 12. And we're going to look at verse 14. Exodus 12:14. Éxodos 12:14. Exodus 12, 
Exodus 12, verse 14. Exodus 12, 14. And if you need a Bible or like a Bible, we have them in English and Espanol. Y si no tienen Biblia, tenemos en Español y en Inglés. Do we need anybody want a Bible? Eduardo, could you bring over a couple of Spanish Bibles, please? And English ones are under, yeah, they're over there. All right, Exodus 12, verse 14. This will be a day for you to remember and celebrate as a festival to Adonai. From generation to generation, you are to celebrate it by a perpetual regulation. Amen? Amen. There's a whole group of seats up here if you'd like. There's a whole group of chairs up here. The word for perpetual la ca la palabra para perpetuo is the word in Hebrew, oyam. Es la palabra en hebreo, oyam. Are you Lenise? Hi, Lenise. Hey, man. Good to see you. I'm going to come give you a hug. Yes, yes. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> so the word in Hebrew is oyam. La palabra en hebreo es oyam. It means forever. Significa por siempre. So God wants us celebrating this day Dios quiere que celebremos este día forever and ever and ever. Por siempre y para siempre. And Here at Beth Goim, Aquí en Beth Goim, we don't teach that the law stopped at the cross. No enseñamos que la ley se detuvo en la cruz. Actually, it gets confirmed at the cross. Se confirmó en la cruz. Because we need to seek the Lord in everything we do. Porque necesitamos buscar al Señor en todo lo que hacemos. Turn to 1 Peter chapter 2, please. Vámonos a primera de Pedro capítulo 2. 1 Peter chapter 2, Kepha. Kepha Aleph. Primera de Pedro, capítulo. And we're going to go through a lot of scripture. First Peter, chapter 2. First Peter, chapter 2. Primera de Pedro, capítulo 2. We're going to look at verse 1 through 5, please. Del verso 1 al 5. Therefore, rid yourselves of all malice, of all deceit, hypocrisy, and envy, and of all the ways there are of speaking against people. And be like newborn babies, thirsty for the pure milk of the word, so that by it you may grow up into deliverance, for you have tasted that Adonai is good. As you come to him, the living stone rejected by people, but chosen by God and precious to him. You yourselves as living stones are being built into a spiritual house to be Kohanim, set apart for God to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to him through Yeshua the Messiah. Amen? Amen. Verse 2 again, please. Veamos al verso dos. And be like newborn babies, thirsty for the pure milk of the word, so that by it you may grow up into deliverance. Amen? This, spe this verse speaks about how... Este, uh, este verso habla de cómo... How there is nothing that could calm a newborn baby. Que como no hay nada que pueda calmar a un bebé recién nacido. When that baby is crying. Cuando ese bebé está llorando. And that baby is hungry. Y ese bebé tiene hambre. There is nothing that could satisfy their appetite. No hay nada que pueda satisfacer su apetito. Except a bottle of milk. Excepto que con una botella de leche. Or to burp them. <laughs> But here, we need to be like that baby. Pero aquí tenemos que ser como ese bebé. Hungry. Hambriento. Thirsty. Sediento. We want the word of the Lord. Queremos la palabra de Dios. And for those babies, y para esos bebés, nothing will satisfy them. Nada los satisfará. Uh, satisfará. And <laughs> los satisface. Unless you get that bottle in that mouth, right? A no ser que tengas esa botella en tu boca. And this goes for us tonight also. Y esto también va para nosotros en esta noche. We need to be like that for the Lord's Pesach. Necesitamos eh, esta noche estar para la Pascua del Señor. We need to hunger for the Lord's word and his understanding. Necesitamos tener hambre para el entendimiento de la palabra de Dios. Because this is the first ordained holy day of Adonai. Porque este es el primer The día santo ordenado por Adonai. Look at verse 5 again, please. Veamos al verso 5. You yourselves 
as living stones are being built into a spiritual house to be koanim, set apart for God to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to him through Yeshua the Messiah. Amen? What does it mean to be a Kohen? ¿Qué significa ser un sacerdote? If you are to be holy, si vas a ser santo, what does that mean to God? ¿Qué significa esto para Dios? How are we to live our lives? ¿Cómo vamos a vivir nuestra vida? And this is what Pesach is all about. Y de esto se trata Pesach. What does it mean to offer spiritual sacrifices to the Lord? ¿Qué significa ofrecerle sacrificios espirituales para el Señor? And we're going to learn about that tonight in Passover. Y vamos a aprender esto esta noche en Pascua. At this Pesach, en esta Pascua, we are going to learn how this day vamos a aprender cómo en este día set the next stage in motion. Se, eh, um, aplicó el próximo paso. Because we had from Adam, de Adam to Pesach as one set of area. Desde Adam hasta Pascua es una area. But this Passover, Pero este Pascua, this set up the whole next stage until Messiah came. Esta Pascua marcó el, primer, el, el, el siguiente paso hasta la venida del Mesías. And then when Messiah came, y cuando el Mesías vino, it set up a whole other thing. Uh, active, um, comenzó otro, otro paso más. But it did not stop the other things. Pero no detuvo las otras cosas. But if you do not understand Passover, Pero si tú no entiendes a Pascua, then you are not going to understand the book of Revelation. Entonces, no vas a entender el libro de Revelación. If you don't understand Pesach, si tú no entiendes Pesach you are not going to understand what's about to happen in this world. No vas a entender lo que va a pasar con este mundo. Because the times that we are living in, Porque en los tiempos que estamos viviendo, we need to understand God's ordained Ways. Necesitamos entender las maneras ordenadas de Dios. And once something is started, y cuando algo ha comenzado, it's sort of like you ever get on a roller coaster. Han estado ustedes en una montaña rusa. How many people have ever been on a roller coaster? Cuántos han estado en una montaña rusa? And you, you, you feel that thing go over your head, clink. Y sienten el, el movimiento. And you're like, oh man, I gotta get off this thing. Y tienes esa obsesión de que tienes que bajarte de aquí. And then you feel that first jerk, and that sh the thing starts moving. Y sientes ese movimiento cuando comienza a moverse. And then the car comes to that first big hill. Y comienza el carro a subir la primera um, uh, colina. And then you feel the car go clink again. Y sientes que el carro se mueve otra vez. And then you're going up that hill. Y estás subiendo esa colina. And you're in the front car. Y estás en el carro en el primero. Because you said if I'm going to ride this roller coaster. Porque tú dijiste yo me voy a subir a este juego. I might as well be in the front car. Yo voy a estar en la primera uh, banca. So you're going up that hill. Pero está subiendo esa montaña. And you're getting to the top of the hill. Y está llegando a la, a la cima de esa And montaña. And then it slows down. Y lentamente se detiene. Picture yourself on that roller coaster. Imagínate tú en esa montaña rusa. Because that's what Pesach is. Porque de eso se, traza, se trata Pesach. It's you're in that car. Tú estás en ese carro. And now you're going up the hill. Y está subiendo la montaña. That's what Pesach is all about. De eso se trata Pesach. How important is this day to Yeshua? Cuán importante es este día para Yeshua. Are we going to be celebrating Passover in heaven? Uh, vamos a estar celebrando Passover en el cielo. How many people think we are? ¿Cuántos creen que lo haremos? Now, now all the Christians are doing Good Friday today. Ahora todos los cristianos están haciendo Viernes Santo hoy. They're thinking he's already in the grave. Están pensando que ya estaba él en la tumba. I don't know how he got in the grave and he didn't eat dinner yet. ¿Cómo no, cómo él va a estar en la tumba si no murió todavía? But we at Beth Goyim, we follow God. Pero aquí en Beth Goyim, seguimos a Dios. The Pope is a nice guy, but he doesn't know much. El Papa es un hombre simpático, pero no sabe mucho. And God knows everything. Pero Dios sabe todo. Because we're going to celebrate Pesach in heaven. Porque vamos a celebrar Pesach en el cielo. And we'll prove that from the word of God. Y lo vamos a probar con la palabra de Dios. By turning to Matthew 26. Y yéndonos a Mateo 26. And we're going to look at verse 29 and 30. 
del verso 29 y 30. Don't worry, there's lots of good food to get to. <laughs> Only another two hours of the Seder. Two hours to go. <laughs> I can't do it, Captain. Matthew chapter 26, verse 29 and 30. Mateo 26, 29 y 30. Everybody got it? Amen. I tell you, I will not drink this fruit of the vine again until the day I drink new wine with you in my Father's kingdom. After singing a hallel, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Amen? Amen. Yeshua says in verse 29, Yeshua dice en verso 29, I will not drink this cup of wine Yo no beberé el fruto de la vid with you con ustedes until I drink it again anew with you in heaven. Hasta que lo, lo, hasta que lo beba de nuevo con ustedes en el reino de mi Padre. So he sit, what is he, what is he doing? ¿Qué es lo que él está haciendo? Is he sitting at a Burger King? Está él sentado en Burger King. Wendy's. En Wendy's. Sonic. Mom likes Sonic, right? Okay. He's sitting at a Pizza Hut, a Domino's. Okay, he's sitting at a Pollo Tropical, right? <laughs> <laughs> he's sitting at a Passover meal. Está sentado en una cena de Passover, Pascua. Pesach, Pascua. How many Gentiles were sitting at that meal? ¿Cuántos gentiles estaban sentados en esa cena? Ten? Diez? Fifteen. 20. 20. Zero. Nada. So tonight, Esta noche, we're all going to become Jewish. Vamos a convertirnos en judíos. Because God's looking for your heart today. Porque Dios está buscando tu corazón hoy. Because he wants to drink of this with you in his kingdom. Porque él quiere beber esto contigo en el reino. But if you're celebrating Good Friday, Pero si estás celebrando Viernes Santo, you don't know about this fruit of the vine. Tú no sabes acerca de este fruto de la viña. And that's very sad. Y es muy triste. Because Pesach, Porque Pesach is all about a choice. Se trata acerca de una elección. Do we want to sit at the Lord's table when we pass on to the next life? Queremos sentarnos en la mesa del Señor cuando pasemos la próxima vida. Yeshua said, I will not drink of this again. Yeshua dijo, no voy a beber de esto otra vez. Until I drink it anew with you. Hasta que lo beba nuevo con ustedes. At my daddy's house. En la casa de mi padre. He could probably call him daddy. Me le puede llamar padre. <laughs> Now I would think he'd probably call him father. <laughs> so he puts the cup down. Entonces él puso la, la, la copa en la mesa. And we want to be able to pick up that cup of wine. Y queremos poder coger esa copa de, de vino. Because without the understanding of Passover. Porque sin el entendimiento de Passover. You don't understand what our beloved Yeshua is saying. No van a entender lo que nuestro amado Yeshua está diciendo. But he will allow you at his table. Pero él te permitirá estar en su mesa. If you leave the world. Si dejas el mundo. And walk a narrow path. Y caminas el camino estrecho. And follow his word. Y sigue su palabra. During the Seder we will drink. Durante el ceder beberemos four cups of grape juice. Cuatro vasos de jugo de uva. And each cup has a meaning and a name. Y cada copa tiene un significado y un nombre. Why don't we, uh, do we have uh, grape juice? Can we uh, bring some grape juice out and everybody pour some into your cup? We're going to partake of some of the things right now. Vamos a, a, a vivir las cosas ahora. So we're going to bring out the grape juice. Do Vamos not a, guzzle it. Vamos okay. a traer el jugo de so we'll fill up you know, the cups a little bit there so that we don't have to keep doing it. So Yeshua is sitting at this meal. Yeshua está sentado en la comida. And he's doing things that Jewish people would be doing. Él estaba haciendo cosas que la gente judía haría. That they have done for at least a thousand years when Messiah came. Que habían hecho por yeah, por lo menos them. mil años cuando el Mesías llegó. So put yourself at the place. Ima eh, ponte en este lugar. This is why we have anybody who wishes to sit at the, this low table can. 
cualquiera que se quiera sentar en esta mesa puede. For some of us old people, we ain't getting back up. <laughs> Because when Yeshua had his Pesach, his last Pesach, cuando Yeshua tuvo su última Pascua, they did not sit at tables like you adults are sitting at. No se sentaron en mesas como nos estamos sentando ahora. They sat on cushions like Juan is sitting on. Se sentaban en cojines así como Juan lo está haciendo. And they sat at a table that was close to the floor like that. Y se sentaban en una mesa que estaba cerca al piso. Because at Pesach you're supposed to sit reclined. Porque en Pesach tú tienes que reclinarte para estar sentado. And you're supposed to be seated at a low table. Y tienes que estar sentado en una mesa bajita. And you're supposed to partake of all the things that we're going to partake of tonight. Y tienes que tomar parte de las cosas que vamos a hacer hoy. So any adult that wants to venture to the low table. Cada, cualquier persona que quiera aventurarse en la mesa bajita. You are welcome to sit there. Están bienvenidos a sentarse ahí. And we can go get some more cushions if your tukas uh, needs it. <laughs> <laughs> tukas is a, what do you, how do they say butt in Spanish? Cola. <laughs> How do you say butt nice? <laughs> Cola. <laughs> no, that is not nice. <laughs> Cola. All right, it's going to be different. Wait, <laughs> Colombian and Ecuadorian? Now we're going to get into this. Now, how do the Puerto Ricans say, say <laughs> butt? <laughs> All right. Wait, how do the Mexicans say it? <laughs> Sit on your tocas. I think Cola is better. Cola in in Yiddish, we say tocas. Tocas. <laughs> Tokus. Okay? Uh, easy on the, for the little kids. Oh, please, easy. Go easy. We can always refill their cups. Okay, don't drink any yet. Don't drink any. We got to say the prayer. <laughs> All right. So this, this first cup that was at the Seder Esa primera copa que estaba en el Seder. has a name. It is called the cup of sanctification. Se llama la copa de la santificación. Because you're coming to sit at the Lord's table. Porque vienes a sentarte en la mesa del Señor. And you have to be sanctified. Y tienes que ser santificado. So as Yeshua, who's a good Jew, como Yeshua era un buen judío, would have lifted up the wine. Le hubiera levantado su copa. He would have said, Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Olam. Bore puri hagafen. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloh uh, It is blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who creates the fruit of the vine. Partake of the fruit of the vine. Tomen parte del fruto de la vine. Mmm, good vintage. 2012. <laughs> And then there would be another prayer that was said. Y hay otra oración que se diría. The blessing goes like this. La bendición uh, va de, de esta manera. It is Baruch Atadonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehekianu Vekiyumanu Vehigianu Lazman Hazet. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who has given us life, has preserved us, and has enabled us to reach this holy season. Amen? Amen. Let's take a little another sip of this. Now on each table, en cada mesa, there is a Seder dish. Había un plato de ceder. And on your Seder dish, y en su plato de ceder, there is a cup of salt water. Hay una copa con agua de sal. Because we went through the salt water to freedom. Porque fuimos por medio del agua salada para la libertad. We also cried a lot of tears when we were in bondage. Y también derramamos muchas lágrimas cuando estábamos en esclavitud. Okay. There is also on the Seder dish en el plato de ceder, some parsley. As, uh, parsley. And that we're going to eat of this a little bit later. Y vamos a comer un poco de esto después. This is uh, found in Mitzrayim, in Egypt. Esto está encontrado en Egipto. And you can eat the parsley. Y lo puedes comer. There is also some bitter herbs. También hay hierbas amargas. Because when you're not serving God, Porque cuando no estás sirviendo a Dios, life is bitter. La vida es, uh, amarga. So we want to remember where we came from Queremos recordar de donde vinimos, so we know where we're going. Así sabemos donde vamos. And then on my particular one y en mi plato en particular, is the lamb 
bone. Es el hueso del cordero. The zoroa. Oh, zoroa. Um, okay. Oh, wait. But we will get to all those things and what they mean. Pero vamos a ver esto y lo que significa después. It is this point en in the Seder. En el Seder. That the head of the house, que la cabeza del hogar, the one who brought the lamb to their father's house, el que trajo el cordero a la casa del padre, would wash their hands. Se lavaría las manos. As a priest washes away the dirt. Como un sacerdote se lava la suciedad. As they would enter into the tabernacle, cuando entraba al tabernáculo, before they would go into the holy place, antes de entrar al lugar santo. They would wash their hands. Se lavarían las manos. So that would be part one of what they were doing. Esto sería la parte uno de lo que estaban haciendo. Is before you start your meal, you would wash your hands. Antes de comenzar a comer, debes lavarte las manos. Turn to Exodus chapter 30, please. Vámonos a Éxodo 30. Exodus 30. Verse 16 through 19. Verso 16 al 19. The book of Shemot, Exodus, chapter 30, Exodus 30, verse 16 through 19. 16 al 19. It says, You are to take the atonement money from the people of Israel and use it for the service of the tent, in the tent of meeting, so that it will be a reminder of the people of Israel before Adonai to atone for your lives. Adonai said to Moshe, you are to make a basin of bronze. With a base of bronze for washing, place it between the tent of meeting and the altar, and put water in it. Aaron and his sons will wash their hands and feet. So before you could enter in with the Pesach, Antes de que pueda ser parte del Pesach you would have to wash your hands, deberías haberte las manos. as we see in the book of Shemot there. Como vemos en el libro de Shemot. And a prayer would be said. Y una oración sería dicha. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam asher kedishanu b'mitzvotah v'tzivanu anitalat yadalim. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who has made us holy by your commandments and commanded us the, ser the concerning of washing of hands. And there you have it from Exodus chapter 30. So that's what Yeshua would have done. Eso es lo que Yeshua hecho. On this night, en esta noche, the Messiah el Mesías, would have sat at Pesach si en Pascua, washing his hands as commanded si, in Exodus chapter 30. On this night, 3,500 years ago, 3, años atrás, you are partaking of what Messiah did 2,000 years ago. Growing up, I didn't really uh, want to celebrate Passover. Cuando yo crecía, no quería celebrar realmente la Pascua. My father walked away from the Lord. Mi padre se alejó del Señor. Even though his grandfather, his grandfather, aunque su abuelo, was the chief rabbi of a very large city here in New Jersey. Era el rabino principal de una sinagoga aquí en New Jersey. You know, many times people walk away from the Lord for silly reasons. Mucha gente se aleja del Señor por razones tontas. Because my father's father died at a young age. Porque el padre de mi padre murió en una edad muy joven. My grandfather died at 47 years old. Mi, el padre de mi padre murió a los 47 años. So my father decided to walk away from God. Mi papá decidió alejarse de Dios. So every Passover I'd sit there. En cada Pascua me sentaba así. Can't we eat? Podemos comer. Why are we doing this? ¿Por qué estamos haciendo esto? But to those who are of us who follow the word of God, Para los que seguimos la palabra de Dios, I want you to realize what you are doing this evening. You are partaking of something Messiah did 2,000 years ago. Estás tomando parte de lo que el Mesías hizo dos mil años atrás. So as I wash my hands, cuando me lave las manos, that's what you find in the book of Shemot, Exodus. Eso es lo que encuentras en el libro de Éxodo. If you're going to be part of a royal priesthood, si vas a ser parte de un sacerdocio real, then you must wash before partaking of the holy things. Debes lavarte las manos antes de tomar 
parte en las cosas santas. So that was one part that you just saw that Messiah himself did. Esta es una parte que viste que el Mesías él mismo lo hizo. Now I want somebody at the table Alguien en la mesa. to take a piece of this parsley Quiero que tome un pedazo de la hierba. and I want you to dip it in the salt water and give it to everybody and Don't eat it yet. Don't eat. <laughs> Don't eat it yet. We'll get to it. Don't worry. Just wetting your appetite for all the good food later. <laughs> okay, everybody, get a piece of the parsley. Don't eat it. Wait, Marco. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll give you the extra horseradish. <laughs> Everybody got a piece of the parsley? Todos tienen un pedacito de hierba. In Hebrew, this is called karpas. En hebreo, esto es karpas. And this is something that is found es in Egypt. Es algo que es encontrado en Egipto. Because remember, after we left Egypt, Recuerden que después que salimos de Egipto, the people complained to Moshe. La gente que, que se quejó de Moshe. We used to sit around pots of meat. Nos sentábamos alrededor de ollas con carne. With vegetables and meat, and we used to eat till our heart is content. Con vegetales y carne podíamos comer lo que queramos. But this parsley. Pero este perejil is a bitter herb es una hierba amarga mixed with the salt water mezclada con el agua salada because each year porque cada año our God nuestro Dios wants us to remember quiere que recordemos that we were once slaves to the world que una vez fuimos esclavos del mundo before you decided to walk with God antes de decidir caminar con Dios so you left the bondage of slavery in those tears dejaste el cautiverio de la esclavitud en esas lágrimas and man made ways y las cosas hechas del hombre to walk with God para caminar con Dios so take part of the parsley come on Mm. And remember where you came from. Y recuerden mm. de donde vinieron. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Goes much better in spaghetti sauce. <laughs> okay. Now, there was another part of the Seder. Había otra parte del Seder. Now, Yeshua would have had this around his head, no. <laughs> Look, it's a Jew with a thing around his head. The, the matzahs in Israel are round. These are called smora matzahs. Because I'd like smora of that, please. No. <laughs> it doesn't translate, but it's a funny joke anyway. <laughs> Because God's love has no beginning and God's love has no end. Porque el comienzo de Dios no tiene ni el amor de Dios no tiene ni comienzo ni final. Especially if you let God surround your life. Especialmente si dejas a Dios que rodee en tu vida. So at Passover, en Pascua, we remember what God did for us. Recordamos lo que Dios hizo por nosotros. How if we allow him to surround our lives. Como lo permit como ¿Qué hace si le dejamos que rodee nuestra vida? We can eat of this bread. Y podemos comer de este pan. It's this bread without leavening. Es este pan sin levadura. Because we want to remember where we were. Porque queremos recordar dónde estuvimos. And you see it has stripes. Y si ves tiene, tiene líneas. It has holes that are in it. Y tiene huequitos ahí también. And we'll read about somebody else who had stripes and holes vamos, in them. So Yeshua would have been at the Seder. Everybody, get, everybody, the head of the table, some man at the, each table. Okay, one of the men grab a piece of the matzah, because then we're going to break it after this in a moment. You want to you lift up the matzah? Right there. Take a matzah, and we're going to lift it up towards the Lord. Okay, now every every man lift it up high, and we're going to I'm going to say the prayer. 
Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher kedishanu b'mitzvotah b'tivanu al hilat matzah. And Yeshua would have said, broken the bread and said, take this. This is my body. It will be broken for you. Give a peace to everybody. And eat of a piece of matzah. Sorry, I was eating. <laughs> Thank you, Ralph. <Ralph's>. Sorry. <laughs> Not like eight, eight, eight things going around, and I'm like, Lord. <laughs> That's what Yeshua would have did. Sit. You're blocking people. Eso es lo que Yeshua hubiera hecho. What you saw, what we just did. Lo que acabamos de hacer. That would have been done at the Seder 2,000 years ago. Fue hecho en el Seder 2,000 años atrás. Some people know the Seder as the Last Supper. Mucha gente conoce el Seder como la última cena. What you saw lo que vieron is exactly what occurred. Es exactamente lo que ocurrió. Because if you turn to Exodus chapter 12, Porque si vamos a Exodus 12 and we're going to look at verse 19, y vamos a ver el verso 19 Exodus 12, verse 19. Exodus 12, verso 19. It says, During those seven days, no leaven is to be found in your houses. Whoever eats food with chametz, that's leavening, in it is to be cut off from the community of Israel. It doesn't matter whether he is a foreigner or a citizen of the land. Amen? Amen. So everybody, Todos. not just we Jews. No solamente los judíos. You know, <laughs> people say, you know, they, they're talking in another language. La gente que está hablando en otro lenguaje. A, a Spanish person will go, yeah, the Jew. La gente, this is a sign for Jew. La gente hispana <laughs> dice judío. Jew. I went into a place a week ago to try to get my hair cut. Yo me fui a un lugar a una, una semana atrás para tratar de the, the woman is talking in Spanish to somebody on the phone. Y la mujer está hablando con alguien en, en el, por teléfono. And she goes, a judío just walked in. Dice, un judío caminó adentro. So I guess this is a sign, Mike, for judío. <laughs> yeah, judío, Mexican judío. <laughs> <laughs> so... You see that this is why we lift up the matzah. Ustedes ven por esta razón levantamos el matzah. But there was something very interesting. Pero había algo más, algo interesante. Sometime around the Middle Ages, alrededor de las edades medias, a piece of the matzah, un pedazo de matzah, was taken. Fue tomado. The middle matzah. There were three matzahs on the table. Habían tres matzahs en la mesa y la de la mitad. And they took a linen cloth. Tomaban una una tela de lino. The middle matzah was broken. La matzah del medio era rota. And then they they took the matzah. Y tomaban el matzah. That was striped and pierced. Que estaba uh, um, latigada y golpeada. And broken. Y rota. And they wrapped it in a linen cloth. Y la envolvían en una tela de lino. And then they would take the matzah. Y tomaban el matzah. And hide it away. Y lo escondían. And let the children go find it later on in the evening. Y dejaban que los niños vayan a encontrarlo después en la noche. Let's just say that again. Digamos esto otra vez. They took the... the Middle matzah of the three. Tomaban la matzah del medio de las tres. And they put it in a linen cloth. Y la envolvían en una tela de lino. The striped, pierced, broken matzah. La matzah que estaba rota con líneas y golpeada. And hid it away for children to go find. Y la escondían para que los niños la encontraran. So we're going to go hide that. 
<laughs> be careful like because you have to be like a child to find the Lord. <laughs> now you saw also in that scripture that we just read. It doesn't matter if it were a Jew or a foreigner. No importa si eres un judío o un extranjero. Jew and Gentile. Judío y gentil. Nobody was to have any leavening in their house. Nadie debía tener ninguna levadura en la casa. But are we one people? Pero somos una, una sola gente. Well, let's see what my cousin Paul says. Veamos lo que mi primo Pablo dice. Turn to Romans chapter 11, please. Vámonos a Romanos 11. Romanos 11. Romans 11, please. Romans 11. Romanos 11. You getting anything today, Mary? You happy you're here? Amen. They can't, everybody, we've been talking, remember the Files family that we've been talking about, everybody? Well, here are the Files family. Yay. They came up from the Carolinas. <laughs> Michael, Wanda, and Jeremiah, and Kalila. <laughs> Kalila has already met my office. <laughs> Romans 11. <laughs> Romans, you're next. Ten minutes. Romans 11. Romanos 11. Just because you're so daggone cute, you get another <laughs> break. Romans 11, verse 17 through 20. <laughs> Romanos 11, de 17 al 20. But if some of the branches were broken off and you, a wild olive, were grafted in among them and have become equal sharers in the rich root of the olive tree, then don't boast as if you were better than the branches. However, if you do boast, remember that you are not supporting the root. The root is supporting you. So you will say branches were broken off so that I might be grafted in. True, but so what? They were broken off because of their lack of trust. However, you keep your place only because of your trust. So don't be arrogant. On the contrary, be terrified. Amen? Amen. Be terrified. Teme. I thought we were all under grace. Yo pensé que bajo la we could just do whatever we want and call it grace. Yo podemos hacer lo que y le we, we could party all night long. Podemos estar en fiestas toda la noche. We can do some merengue. <laughs> and do the cha-cha. We could do the mambo. We could do the limbo. So we can do everything. We call it grace, right? Podemos hacer cualquier cosa, pero lo llamaremos gracia. But Rav Shaul, my cousin, pero Pablo, mi primo, because we come from the same tribe, he's from Benjamin, I'm from Benjamin, porque somos de la misma tribu de Benjamin, he said, be terrified. Dijo, teman. Because some of them were broken off so you could get in. Porque si es, algunas de esas que er, se rompieron también tú puedes. There is one law. Hay una ley. For the Jew and Gentile. Para el judío y gentil. And the sadness is what you hear downstairs. Y la es que lo que abajo. They are not celebrating Passover tonight at that Christian church downstairs. No están celebrando Pascua esta noche en esta iglesia cristiana. They think that they think that they're not Catholics. Ellos piensan que no son católicos. But they're celebrating Good Friday when the Pope says to celebrate Good Friday. Pero están celebrando Viernes Santo cuando el Papa dice que es Viernes Santo. As for me in my house, yo y mi casa, we will serve the Lord. Serviremos al Señor. And I'm not going to be I'm not going to be timid about that. Y no voy a ser tímido acerca de esto. I'm going to tell you when you're wrong. Yo te voy a decir cuando estás mal. Not because I want to say I'm right. No porque yo quiero estar de, uh, um, correcto. Because I don't want you to go to hell. Pero yo no quiero que vayas al infierno. Because God said here, be terrified. Porque Dios dice aquí, teme. Because once you're in Sheol. Porque una vez que estás en el infierno. You don't get out. No sales. But you know how angry the Father is with you? Pero sabes que enojado el Padre está contigo. You get to see heaven. Vas a ver el cielo. But 24 hours a day, seven days a week, you are in pain. Remember Yeshua told us about this. Que Yeshua nos dijo acerca de esto. Remember Lazarus. Recuerda Lázaro. You know, and the rich man. Y el hombre rico. The rich man said, just get a drop of water. El hombre rico dijo, Solo una gota de agua. So God wants you learning how to be grafted in tonight. Dios quiere que aprendas cómo estar injertado esta noche. One 
law, one way of doing things. Una ley, una manera de hacer las cosas. But he loved you so much. Pero él te amó tanto. He grafted you in. Que él te injertó. With tender loving care. Con amor y cuidado. You know how you graft something in? Si ves como tú uh, injertas algo. You take the two branches, right? Tomas las dos ramas. And you tie it together. Y la atas juntas. Why do you think he was on the cross? ¿Qué crees que estaba en la cruz? He was binding things together. Estaban las dos cosas juntas. He was tied to that cross. Él fue atado a la cruz. He was nailed to that cross. Fue clavado en la cruz. So that you could be grafted in together. Así tú puedes ser injertado. Now let's learn all about tonight. Aprendamos de esta noche. Turn to Exodus chapter 12, please, Shemot. Vámonos a Éxodos 12. That girl's not singing tonight. <laughs> Thank God. There's one girl that, oh my goodness, she makes a joyful noise. <laughs> Exodus chapter 12. Exodus 12. Verse 1 through 7. Del uno al siete. And I spoke to Moisha and Aaron in the land of Egypt. He said, you are to begin your calendar with this month. It will be the first month of the year for you. Speak to all the assembly of Israel and say on the tenth day of this month each man is to take a lamb or a kid for his family, one per household, except that if the household is too small for a whole lamb or kid, then he and his next door neighbor should share one dividing it in portion to the number of people eating it. Your animal must be without defect, a male in its first year, and you may choose it from either the sheep or the goats. You are to keep it until the 14th day of the month. And then the entire assembly of the community of Yisrael will slaughter it at dusk. They are to take some of the blood and smear it on the two sides and the top of the door frame at the entrance of the house in which they eat it. Amen? Amen. Tonight is that night. Esta noche es esa noche. Tonight is the night esta noche, esta noche, that the Lord commanded us que el Señor nos manda, and it is our joy y es nuestro gusto, to do what God commanded hacer lo que Dios manda, and to celebrate the Lord's Pesach. Y celebrar la Pascua del Señor. Tonight esta we will noche, take this blood tomaremos esta sangre, that Juan's brother-in-law Jamie que el hermano de Juan, el cuñado de Juan, He killed his goat the other day. Uh, mató a su uh, cabrita, cabro ayer. A goat without defect. Una cabra sin defecto. And this is the blood from that goat. Y esta es la sangre de esa cabra. And we will do later y después what is commanded for us to do. Haremos lo que es mandado. This is cut from the hyssop bush in our backyard. Este, esta ramita es cortada del árbol de, de la, del arbusto de hisopo. And we will put the blood on the door as commanded in scripture. Y pondremos la sangre en la puerta como es mandado en la escritura. But this is the blood from a perfect goat. Pero esta es la sangre de Not un... Not a lamb. He only had a goat. Cabrito perfecto. No había una cordero. Tonight is the night. Esta noche. That we need to understand the Lord commanded us to do. Necesitamos entender lo que el Señor nos mandado hacer. But to understand this night better, Pero para entender esta noche mejor, we must first understand a sacrifice. Debemos entender el sacrificio primero. Turn to Genesis chapter 15, please. Vámonos a Genesis 15. Genesis 15. Genesis 15. Why are we here? ¿Por qué estamos aquí? This scripture was never taught in my yeshiva. Esta escritura nunca se enseñó en mi yeshiva. I never knew this until I started to read the Bible for myself. No sabía esto hasta que comencé a leer la Biblia por mí mismo. Genesis 15, verse 12 through 14. Genesis 15, del 12 al 14. Gracias. Everybody got it? Say amen. Amen. As the sun was about to set, a deep sleep fell on Abram. Horror and great darkness came over him. Adonai said to Avram, Know this for certain, your descendants will be foreigners in a land that is not theirs. They will be slaves and held in oppression there 400 years. But I will also judge that nation, the one that makes them slaves, and 
afterwards they will leave with many possessions amen, amen. this is a prophecy that did occur Esta es una profecía que ocurrió. Growing up, I never heard this. Cuando crecí, ya, yo no escuché esto. I, I never knew we were supposed to be slaves. Yo no sabíamos que éramos esclavos. But God told Avram. Pero Dios le dijo a Abraham. Even before his name was changed, Abraham. Incluso antes de que su nombre sea cambiado, Abraham. That we were going to be slaves. Dijo que íbamos a ser esclavos. Not for 70 years. No por 70 años. Not for 100 years. No por 100. 400 years. 400 años. Because he wanted to show the world how awesome he is. Porque él quería mostrar al mundo qué maravilloso que es él. And he tells us things in advance. Y nos dice cosas en adelantado. That's why we study Pe Pesach. Por eso estudiamos Pesach. Because the Lord is going to tell us stuff in advance. Porque el Señor nos va a decir las cosas adelantado. And this prophecy was told to Abraham. Y esta Abraham, sorry. Fue avisada, fue dicha a Abraham. But he messed up along the way. Pero él en el he also told him that he would have a son. Le dijo que iba a tener un hijo. But he didn't want to believe that. Pero no creer esto. He was getting kind of old. Estaba envejeciendo. I, I don't have a son. I'm going on 80 years old. Estoy envejeciendo, tengo 80 años. Then his wife comes to him. Y su esposa viene a él. Oh, you don't have a kid. No tienes un niño. You want my handmaid. ¿Quieres mi sirvienta? Yes. <laughs> so he makes a mistake because he doesn't listen to God's promise. Él comete un error porque no escucha las promesas de Dios. And do you know those two people are still fighting today? Y si ven que estas dos personas siguen peleando hasta hoy. Who are the Philistines? ¿Quiénes son los filisteos? They live in the West Bank. Viven en el banco del oeste. Who are the children of Abraham? Uh, nosotros Yitzhak los de Abraham. and Yaakov. They live in Israel. Viven en Israel. They're still fighting to this day. Están peleando hasta el día de hoy. Because when God said something, Porque cuando Dios dice algo, He will have it happen. Él lo hará. If you know what you're looking at. Si sabes a lo que estás mirando. But he was getting old. Pero estaba envejeciendo. You want me to take this girl over here? Dice que tomes esta mujer. And so we have this problem today. Y este hoy. But then after that, Pero de esto, the Lord takes Ishmael away. El Señor toma a Ishmael y lo aleja. And then in Abraham's old age, y en la edad anciana de Abraham, he gives them a baby. Le da un bebé. And when Sarah heard that she was going to have a baby, y cuando Sara escuchó que iba a tener un bebé, would I no pleasure again with my husband? Tendré ese placer con mi esposo. You haven't made the drug companies yet, Lord. <laughs> no has creado las compañías de drogas, señor. Todavía. And when she heard that she was going to be pregnant, y cuando ella escuchó que iba a estar embarazada, she laughed. Ella se rió. She said. <laughs> I'm not going to be pregnant. And the Lord, then the Lord talks to Sarah. El Señor le habla a Sarah. And, she sa and he said to her, y le dice a ella, You laughed when I told you you were going to be pregnant. Te reíste cuando te dije que iba a estar embarazada. And she goes, No, I didn't. Y ella dice, no lo hice. And he said, Yes, you did. Y dice, sí, lo he said, No, I didn't. Y dice, no. And he said, Yes, you did. Y dice, sí, lo he so they have Yitzhak. Tuvieron a Isaac. But then God asked something from Abraham. Pero entonces Dios pide algo de Abraham. Turn to Genesis chapter 22, please. Vámonos a Genesis 22. So you have to understand this so you can understand the Passover. Tienes que entender esto para entender la Pascua. Genesis 22. Genesis 22. Genesis 22. We're going to read verse 3 vamos through 13. A, vamos a leer el verso 3 al 13. Genesis 22. Genesis 22. Verse 3 through 13. 13 al 13. Abra 3 al 13, I'm sorry. Abraham got up early in the morning, saddled his donkey, and took two of his young men with him, together with Yitzhak, his son. He cut the wood for the burnt offering, departed, and went toward the place God had told him about. On the third day, Abraham raised his eyes and saw the place in the distance. 
Abraham said to his young men, stay here with the donkey. I and the boy will go there and worship and return to you. Abraham took the wood for the burnt offering and laid it on Yitzhak, his son. And then he took, took his hand and the fire and the knife, and they both went on together. Yitzhak spoke to Abraham, his father. My father, he answered, Inani, Ben. He said, I see the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Abraham replied, God will provide himself the lamb for the burnt offering, my son. And they both went on together. They came to the place where God had told him about. And Abraham built an altar there, set the wood in order, bound Yitzhak his son, and laid him on the altar, on the wood. Then Abraham put out his hand and took the knife to kill his son. But the angel of Adonai called him out of heaven, Abraham, Abraham. He answered, he ain't he. He said, don't lay your hand on the boy. Don't do anything to him. For now I know that you are a man who fears God because you have not withheld your son, your only son, from me. Abraham raised his eyes and looked, and there behind him was a ram caught in the bushes by its horns. Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up as a burnt offering in place of his son. Amen? Amen. So here God asks for an offering. Dios pide una ofrenda. You, you want me to offer my only son. Tú quieres que ofrezca mi, mi único hijo. So Abraham rides a donkey. Abraham está yendo un burrito for three days. Por tres días. Oh my goodness, would that hurt? Eso dolería mucho. Oh, I'm riding for three days. Estoy cabalgando por tres días. Oh, I'm going to be riding side saddle for a while. What? I'm going to ride side saddle. Oh, voy a voy a voy a cabalgar de lado. And then they get off the donkey. Se bajan del burrito. And they go up a hill. Y ellos suben una montaña. And the, the father lays the wood on his son's back. Y el padre pone la leña sobre la espalda del hijo. He puts the wood on the back of his son. Le pone en espalda de su hijo. And they're climbing a hill. Y están subiendo una colina. Look at verse 9. Veamos al verso 9. They came to the place God had told him about. Abraham built the altar there and set the wood in order. Bound Yitzhak, his son, and laid him on the altar on the wood. Amen? Amen. So the father laid his son on the wood. Su padre uh, puso a su hijo en la, leña, en la leña. Bound and tied to the wood. Lo ató a la leña. The father laid the son on the wood. El padre puso a su hijo en la leña. Bound to the wood. Lo ató a la leña. And we learned how this was an altar too. Y aprendimos como esto es un altar también. And then he prays. Y ora. Abraham prays. Ora Abraham. And then the Lord says, Abraham! Y el Señor le dice, Abraham. Abraham! Abraham! You know, Jewish men, you got to say things twice. Para un hombre judío, tienes que decir dos veces las cosas. I think the Spanish men, you have to say things twice too, right? Ten. <laughs> so, he listens. Él escucha. And what was caught in the thicket? Y, un, y una... Sticker bush. Yeah, we... Un carnero estaba atrapado en un zarzal. It's caught by his horns. Estaba atrapado con sus cachos, cuernos. In a sticker bush. En un zarzal. You know anybody else that wears sticker bush on his head? Saben quién más tuvo un un zarzal en su cabeza? Yes, he did. So the ram, a male ram was caught there in the sticker bush. Un macho cabrío estaba trabado en un zarzal. So the sacrificial animal el animal de sacrificio took the place of the only son. Tomó el lugar del, del hijo único. The oldest son. El hijo mayor. The son of the promise. El hijo de la promesa. Now I'll turn to Exodus chapter 1, please. Vámonos a Éxodo 1. So it's a little bit different of a Seder than you're normally used to, right? Es diferente de lo que del Seder que se han tenido. You learn anything? You learn anything? Wanda, you learn anything? You glad you traveled all those miles with those kids yammering in the car? <laughs> Amen? I mean, you had no choice. You were in the car and whether or not you wanted it. <laughs> we're going. Exodus chapter 1, verse 10 and 11. Exodus 1, del 10 al 11. Come, let us use wisdom in dealing with them, otherwise they will continue to multiply. And in the event of war, they might ally themselves with their enemies, fight against us, and leave the land altogether. So they put slave masters over them to oppress them with forced labor, and they built 
for Pharaoh, the story cities of Pithom and Ramesses. Amen? Amen. So here it is. The Jews were living in Egypt. Aquí ven que los, uh, en and for no reason at all, y por razón, the Pharaoh says, Boy, we got all these Jews living here. El dice, todos estos aquí. We better put them in slavery. En because they might rise up against us. Se en de There was no reason for this to happen. No había razón para que esto Same thing that's going on in the world today. Lo mismo que está hoy en el mundo. People hating Jews for no reason at all. La gente que está a los sin razón. You know, that we give many things to the world. Y damos muchas cosas al mundo. We give medicines. Damos medicina. Anybody know it? Anybody with a pacemaker? Alguien con un marca pasos. Well, you might want to thank a Jew. Eh, pueden agradecer a un judío. Anybody have a cell phone? Alguien con un celular. You might want to thank a Jew. Pueden agradecer a un judío. <laughs> Anybody have a computer with a Pentium chip in it? Una, alguien con una computadora con un chip Pentium. You might want to thank a Jew. Quieren agradecer a un judío. There are not many Jews that go out evangelizing. No hay muchos judíos que salen a evangelizar. I'm one of the nuts. Yo soy uno de los locos. I go and tell people about the Lord. Yo voy y les digo acerca del Señor. But you don't see men like this. Pero no ves hombres así. With the white shirts and the black pants and the black coat. Con la camisa blanca y los uh, la, la eterno negro. Going out and witnessing. Saliendo a testificar. Oh, you got an Torah. Get away from this Jesus guy. You got an Torah. Aprende al Torah, aléjate de Jesús. So here you're seeing a parallel of what happened to lead the children of Israel into bondage. Aquí ves el paralelo de con lo que pasó cuando se um, encaminó a los hijos fuera del cautiverio. So the Jews go into bondage. Los judíos van al cautiverio. And they start to cry out to the Lord. Y están pidiendo al Señor. Why are we here? ¿Por qué estamos aquí? We didn't do nothing, Joshua. No hicimos nada. So they're crying out. Están llorando al Señor. So Pharaoh makes a proclamation. El faraón hace una proclamación. To kill all the male children of Israel. De matar a todos los niños varones de Israel. Turn, turn to Exodus chapter 2. Vámonos a Éxodo 2. Verse 1 through 4. Del 1 al 4. Exodus Shemot chapter 2. Éxodo 2. Verse 1 through 4. Del 1 al 4. A man from the family of Levi, Levi took a woman also descended from Levi as his wife when she conceived and had a son upon seeing what a fine child he was. She hid him for three months. When she could no longer hide him, she took a papyrus basket, coated it with clay and tar and put the child in it, placed it among the reeds on the riverbank. His sister stood at a distance to see what would happen to him. Amen? Amen. Now, what was the name of Moses' sister? ¿Cuál era el nombre de la hermana de Moisés? Miriam. Miriam. Okay, now, his mother hid him for three months. Su madre lo escondió por tres meses. What was the name of Yeshua's mom? ¿Cuál era el nombre de la mamá de Yeshua? Miriam. Miriam. How long did she hide? ¿Por cuánto tiempo ella se escondió? Por three months. months. Escondió su embarazo por she tres meses. She went to her cousin house. Fue a la casa de, la, de su prima Elizabeth. So here, Miriam's watching over the baby in the water. Miriam está mirando al niño eh, que va en el agua. Here, Miriam was watching over the baby in her womb. Miriam estaba cuidando del bebé en su vientre. Both Moshe and Yeshua would be the deliverer of the people. Moshe and Yeshua fueron los que iban a liberar al pueblo. So here, Moshe floats down. Moshe flota en el agua. And enters into a kingly house. Y entra una casa uh, real. Yeshua floated down and entered into a kingly house. Entonces, Yeshua salió y entró a una casa real. And Moshe, his name means drawn from the water. El nombre de Moisés significa sacado de las aguas. Yeshua said, I am the living water. Yeshua dijo, yo soy el agua viva. Because life comes from living water. Porque el agua viene del agua viva. So Moshe grows up as a Gentile. Moshe crece como un gentil. After he was weaned, he was brought to Pharaoh's house. Después de que él fue despertado, fue llevado a la casa del faraón. And he grew up as a Gentile. Y creció como un gentil. And all this time, the Israelites are slaves. Y todo este tiempo, los israelitas eran esclavos. Crying out to the Lord. Llorándole al Señor. 
Now let's look at verse 11 through 15. Veamos al verso 11 hasta el 15. One day when Moshe was grown, a grown man, he went out to visit his kinsmen, and he watched them struggling at forced labor. He saw an Egyptian strike a Hebrew, one of the kinsmen. He, he looked this way and that, and when he saw that no one was around, he killed the Egyptian and hid his body in the sand. The next day he went out and saw two Hebrew men fighting each other. The one in the wrong, he said, why are you hitting your companion? He retorted, who appointed you ruler and judge over us? Do you intend to kill me the same way you killed the Egyptian? Moshe became frightened. Clearly, he thought the matter had become known. When Pharaoh heard of it, he tried to have Moshe put to death, but Moshe fled from Pharaoh to live in the land of Midian. One day, one day as he was sitting by the well. Amen? Amen. So Moses had to flee. Moisés tuvo que huir. To live in the wilderness. A vivir en la maleza. So we go, he goes into the desert. El, el huyó al desierto. And sometimes when we're trying to hide from the Lord, y muchas veces cuando tratas de esconderte we, del Señor, we go out into the desert, right? Vamos al desierto. What do you think? The Lord's not going to find you in the ¿Piensas desert? Piensas que el Señor no te va a encontrar en el desierto? He's got maps. Él tiene mapas. You've got a GPS in your brain. So Moshe comes to a well. Moisés llega a un uh, pozo. And he comes to the defense of the daughters of Yitro. Y viene a defender a las hijas de Yitro. And then Moshe gets married to one of the girls. Moisés se casa con una de las hijas. Because Yitro was so pleased with what this man did. Porque Yitro estaba complacido con lo que él hizo. He gave him his eldest daughter, Zipporah. Le dio su hija mayor, Zipporah. And her name means beauty. Y su nombre significa belleza. Her name means trumpet. Su nombre significa trompeta. Moses' wife's name means trumpet. El nombre de la esposa de Moisés es trompeta. And it also means a female bird. Y también significa un pájaro femenino. So Moses settles down. Moisés se... se en, uh, he has a wife, has a family, esposo, familia, has a couple of kids. Tiene sus hijos. But then he feels the Lord tugging at his heart. Pero que el Señor está su and while he's in the field with the sheep, y está en el campo con las, he looks uh, up corderos, el mía, and he sees something. Y ve algo. Turn to Exodus chapter 3, please. A Exodus 3. Verse 1 through 5. Del uno al cinco. Now Moshe was tending the sheep of Yitro, his father, and all the priests of Midian, Leading the flock to the far side of the desert, he came to the mountain of God at Horeb, and an angel of Adonai appeared to him in a fire blazing from the middle of the bush. He looked and saw that although the bush was flaming with fire, yet the bush was not being burned up. Moshe said, I'm going over there to see this amazing sight and find out why the bush isn't being burned up. When Adonai saw that he had gone over to see, God called to him from the middle of the bush. He said, Moshe, Moshe, he answered, he nanny. He said, don't come any closer. Take your sandals off your feet because the place where you're standing is holy ground. Amen? Amen. How many times did the Lord call Moshe? ¿Cuántas veces el Señor llamó a Moisés? Twice. Dos veces. How many times did he call Abraham? ¿Cuántas veces Twice. Llamó Abraham? See a pattern starting to develop here? Ven un, un, un patrón que trabaja aquí. So the Lord and Moses get into this conversation. El Señor y Moisés comienzan a hablar. And he wants Moses to go be the deliverer of Israel. Y quiere que Moisés sea el libertador de Israel. Why do, why why do you think that the Lord couldn't just do it himself? ¿Por qué crees que el Señor no lo pudo hacer por él mismo? Why did the Lord not do it himself? Just take the Israelites out. ¿Por qué out? no lo hizo él mismo al sacar a sus israelitas? Why didn't the Lord just rapture everybody out? ¿Por qué él no raptó a todos? Don't you think that would have been easier? ¿No crees que hubiera sido fácil? To rapture everybody out from Israel from Egypt to Israel. Raptar a todos desde, Israel, desde Egipto hasta Israel. But he decides to send Moshe. Pero él decide enviar a Moshe. Because he wanted to have a man deliver the people out. Porque él quería tener un hombre que libere el, la gente. And Moses says, the people are going to need a sign. Y Moisés dice, la gente va a necesitar un signo. A big sign. Un signo grande. Like a big billboard. Como una pancarta grande. Exodus, this way. Because <laughs> we Jews, we always need signs. Como judíos, so the Lord gives Moses a sign. El se, Mois, el Señor da un, un, un signo a he gives him a pole Le da un palo that is going to change into a snake. 
que va a tornarse en, tu, en una serpiente. And he says to the Lord, what's this? Y le dice, ¿qué es esto? A, a pole that turns into a snake? Y dice, un palo que se va a convertir en serpiente. But then the pole turns into a snake. Pero entonces el palo se convierte en serpiente. And then God says, grab the snake by its tail. Y Dios le dice, toma la serpiente por su cola. And Moses was able to grab the snake by the tail. Y Moisés puede agarrar a la serpiente por la cola. Because with the word of God, con la palabra de Dios, we have power over the snake. Tenemos poder sobre la culebra. If you listen to the word of God. Si, le, si escuchas a la palabra de Dios. So Moses finally agrees to, to go into the Lord's business. Moisés está de acuerdo con ir al, ne al negocio de Dios. Turn to Exodus chapter 4 now. Vámonos a Éxodo 4. We're going to look at verse 20 through 26. Vamos a ir el, del 20 al 26. So Moshe took his wife and sons, put them on a donkey, and started out for Egypt. Moshe took God's staff in his hand. And I said to Moshe, when you get back to Egypt, make sure that you do before Pharaoh every one of the wonders I have enabled you to do. Nevertheless, I'm going to make him hard-hearted, and he will refuse to let the people go. And you are to tell Pharaoh, Adonai says to Israel, is my firstborn son. I have told you to let my son go in order to worship me, but you have refused to let him go. Well, then I will kill your firstborn son. At a lodging place on the way, Adonai met Moshe and would have killed him had not Zipporah taken a flint stone and cut off the foreskin of her son. She threw it at his feet, saying, What a bloody bridegroom you are for me. But then God let Moshe be. She added, A bloody bridegroom because of the circumcision. Amen? Amen. How many times did she say that? ¿Cuántas veces dijo ella esto? This bloody bridegroom thing. Este uh, esposo de sangre. Twice. Dos veces. How many times did God call Moses? ¿Cuántas Twice. veces Dios llamó a Moisés? How many times did God call Abraham? ¿Cuántas veces Dios llamó a Moisés Abraham? Do you seeing a pattern here? Ven el patrón aquí. You know, imagine you're riding that donkey. Imagínate que estás cabalgando un burrito. And the Lord meets you. Y el Señor te mira. And your mother. Y tu madre picks up a stone. Coge una piedra. She lifts up your skirt. Because your boy, you're wearing la, your skirt. Te levanta la, la, la vestidura. And la she goes, whack! <laughs> Ma, what did I, what did I, what, why did you do that? <laughs> what did I do, Ma? ¿Qué hice, mamá? Now, what was Moses writing? Que estaba cabalgando Moisés. Was he riding a, a stallion? Estaba él montando un, uh, un caballo de pura What, sangre. Was he riding a camel? Estaba él montando un camello. What was Moses riding? Que estaba montando a donkey. Moisés. Why was he riding a donkey? Okay, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> a donkey is a beast of burden. Un burro es una bestia de carga. He didn't want to come as a king coming in. No quería ir como un rey que entra. The deliverer of Israel would ride a donkey to deliver the people. El libertador de Israel va a entrar en un burro para liberar a la gente. Let me say that again. The deliverer of Israel. El libertador de Israel. To lead the people out of bondage. Para llevar a la gente fuera del cautiverio would not ride a stallion. no cabalgará un caballo He's riding a donkey. está cabalgando un burrito know anybody else who rode a donkey? ¿sabes quién más cabalgó un burrito? To lead the people out of bondage? para liberar a la gente del cautiverio Turn to Matthew chapter 21, please. Vámonos a Mateo 21. Matthew 21, please. Mateo 21. So is this an interesting Passover so far? Amen. Amen? Amen. You learn anything there, Julia? Amen. Mateo 21. From Minerva, ¿te ves bien? We'll do the French for Minerva. <laughs> All right, we're going to read Matthew 21, verse 1 through 9. Mateo 21, del 1 al 9. As they were approaching Jerusalem, they came to Beth Page on the Mount of Olives. Yeshua sent to Talmudim with these instructions. Go into the village ahead of you, and you will immediately find a donkey tethered, tethered there with a the colt. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, tell him, the Lord needs them, and he will let them go at once. 
This happened in order to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet. Say to the daughter of Zion, look, your king is coming to you, riding humbly on a donkey and on a colt, the offspring of a beast of burden. So the Talmudim went and did as Yeshua had directed. They brought the donkey and the colt and put the robes on them, and Yeshua sat on them. The crowd of people carpeted the road with their clothing, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them in the road, and the crowds ahead of him and behind him shouted, Hoshiana, Hoshiana, Baruch Haba, Beshem Adonai, to Ben David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of Adonai. You in the highest heaven, please deliver us. Amen? Amen. So here, what did the people do? ¿Qué la gente hizo? They got the donkey. And what did they put on the donkey? ¿Y qué pusieron sobre el asno? They put their robes on the donkey. Pusieron sus uh, vestimentas en el burro. So Yeshua could ride on the law. Y Yeshua podía cabalgar en la ley. And then it says they carpeted the road with their talits. It dice que pusieron, tendieron sus mantos en el camino. They didn't wear wearing terry cloth robes. Ellos no estaban puestos uh, otras ropas. What kind of robes were they wearing? Qué mantos estaban vistiendo. So you have to ride the narrow path in for deliverance. Tienes que caminar por ese camino estrecho para la liberación. And Mo Yeshua was riding the same thing Moses was riding. Y Yeshua estuvo cabalgando lo mismo que Moisés. Turn back to Exodus chapter 12, please. Vámonos a Éxodo 12. Exodus chapter 12. We're almost done. Hey, another 20 12. minutes. Another 20 minutes. Can you handle another 20 minutes? Are you learning a lot about the Pesach tonight? Amen. You seeing how important it is? Qué importante que es. Exodus chapter 12, verse 14 again. Éxodo 12, 14. It says, this will be a day for you to remember and celebrate as a festival to Adonai from generation to generation. You are to celebrate it by a perpetual regulation. Amen? Amen. I don't understand why people can't understand this. Yo no entiendo cómo la gente no puede entender esto. It's pretty simple. God is saying do this forever. Es muy simple. Dios dice que hagas esto por siempre. At least while you're here on earth as a human. Por lo menos hasta que, mientras estás aquí en la tierra como humano. So what is this celebration that we're supposed to be doing? ¿Qué es esta celebración que debemos estar haciendo? Remember, you're engrafted into the house of Yeshua. Recuerda que eres injertado a la casa de Yeshua. Okay, now let's go back to Exodus chapter 5. Vámonos a Éxodo 5. Exodus chapter 5, please. Éxodo 5. Exodus 5, please. Éxodo 5. We're going to look at verse 1 through 7. Del verso 1 al 7. Exodus 5, Shemot 5. Éxodo 5. Verse 1. One through seven. Del uno al siete. After that, Moshe and Aaron came, said to Pharaoh, here's what Adonai, the God of Israel, says, let my people go so that they can celebrate a festival in the desert to honor me. But Pharaoh replied, who is Adonai that I should obey when he says, let Israel go? I don't know who, no Adonai, and I also won't let Israel go. They said, the God of the Hebrews met with us. Please let us go three-day journey into the desert so that we can sacrifice to Adonai our God. Otherwise, he may strike us with a plague or with the sword. The king of Egypt answered them, Moshe and Aaron, what do you mean by taking the people away from your, their work? Get back to your labor. Look, Pharaoh added, the population of the land has grown. Yet you are trying to have them stop working. The same day Pharaoh ordered the slave masters of the people, the slave masters and the people's foremen, you are no longer to provide straw for the bricks. The people are making, as you did before, let them go and gather straw for themselves. Amen? Amen. So now it gets a little harder for the Jewish pizza. Ahora people, sea. pizza. <laughs> <laughs> a Freudian slip. Matzah pizza. It gets a little harder for the, for the Jewish people. Ahora se toma una situación más difícil para la gente judía. So sometimes when you don't look at the road ahead of you, cuando no miras a la ruta que está delante de ti, the road is going to get di more difficult. La ruta se va a hacer más difícil. So the road got more difficult for us. El camino se hace más difícil para nosotros. At this point in the Seder, we're going to have a little more to eat. Y vamos a comer un poco más en este momento. Okay, we, we got two things we're going to eat now. Ahora son dos cosas las que vamos a comer. Do you want the Hard or the easy first? Lo duro o lo fácil Who wants the hard first? Hard. 
coisas duro. Who wants the easy first? Okay. Okay. Now you see that red stuff in the bowl over there. Si ven esa esa mezcla roja en en el plato. I want everybody to take a good healthy portion of that red stuff. Quiero que todos tomen una buena porción de esto. Especially a double portion for Stephanie and Josh. <laughs> and a triple portion for Carol. <laughs> And we're going to have the four questions in a moment, okay? Okay, after we do this. Okay, so take a... I'm going to have the white hot stuff here. See, slavery is very difficult. Everybody yeah. got some some of that, that horseradish? A big... No, come on, give Marco some good stuff there. I want to see Marco's hair on fire. Piece of matzo with the horseradish. Lenise, is it okay if I tell people that you're a First Nations person? Is it okay if I tell people you're a First Nations person? See, so you know, you know how the name of the congregation is Beth Goim. Ahora ven por qué el nombre de la congregación es Beth Goim. Which means House of the Nations. Significa Casa de las Naciones. And we have many nations here today Tenemos also. Tenemos muchas naciones esta noche. We got people from the Dominican Republic. Tenemos gente de la República Dominicana. Shh, Ecuador. Ecuador. Mexico. Mexico. Uh, Colombia. Colombia. Okay, my future in-laws are from Colombia. Uh, Arena, you're from... Trinidad. Trinidad. Laura, and we also have Lenice here. India. She is a First Nations person. Uh, She's a Blackfoot Indian. What? Right? You said a Blackfoot? No. No, you didn't say what 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 tribe? Cherokee? Cherokee and Kuna from Panama. Wow. Because I remember we were talking about the Blackfoot. We were doing that when, that when we were doing that the thing of the Indians. So we have people from all the nations here. Puerto Ricans, Anglicans, <laughs> and Brazilians. We got, we got the Polish. I'm Irish. All right, here. Here we have the, the bitter herbs because slavery is bitter. All right, Evelyn. Well, I got the white. This is hotter. You got the red because we know most people don't like this. I like the hot stuff. Yeah. All right, I like the hot stuff. All right, this is on the uh, bread of affliction. Este es el pan de la aflicción. All right, why don't we partake of the sadness of being in slavery? Tomemos parte de la de la tristeza de la esclavitud. Mmm. Mmm. Nah, make them suffer. That's what slavery is all about. <laughs> I want to see. I want to see Abraham sweating over there. Give him more. <laughs> Make him sweat. Now, take the other thing, the, the karoset. That's the sweet stuff. This reminds us of the mortar of making the bricks. Now you get the sweet stuff. All right, everybody get some of the sweet stuff now. Is it apples and honey? Is there any nuts in this? Yes. Connie, no, none of this. It's got nuts in it. None of the the um, the roset. I don't have a, a I don't have any epinephrine here for you. Right, everybody got some of the sweet. Because we want to we want to remember. Oh, the work we did in Egypt. So that was the worship. Was the worship okay? Worship okay? Did you like the worship? Did you like the worship? Veronica, watch the wine. Yes, I was Don't about to throw my wine. All right.
This haroset reminds us of the bricks that we had to make in Egypt. I'm fine. Yes, I but I need it in Spanish. <laughs> the haroset reminds us of the bricks we made in Egypt. El Jarusus nos recuerda de la, del lodo que teníamos para hacer los uh, bloques en Egipto. That we don't want to ever go back to walking without God. What else? That we don't ever want to go back to walking without God. Y no queremos regresar a caminar sin Dios otra vez. Or I'll make it longer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody partake of the Jarusset. Tomen parte del Jarusset. That's it. Okay. Be careful, Mike. Juice. Okay. Now, I'm going to be on A, Connor. Jeremiah is going to come up. And Fausto. That's Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Jeremiah Benjamin. Two, 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 two. two. Oh, hello, hello. All right. At this point in the Seder, en este punto en el Seder, we, we have the youngest children that can read. Los niños más pequeños que pueden leer. It, they're going to ask about why are we doing this? Van a preguntar por qué estamos haciendo esto. Wait, Falso, go ahead. Amen. And this, and this is, and this is, you want to do it again, Falso? Go ahead. And that means why is this wow. night different from any other nights? Significa porque esta noche es diferente de las otras. And from all other nights. From all other nights. De todas las otras noches. All right. right. And that, now the Jeremiah Benjamin's going to do the Hebrew. It's going to do the rest of the questions, and I'll do it in English, or he can do it in English. <laughs> Shebeko halalot anu queen shaar Bain Yoshbin Uvenu Mesubin Halai Lahaze Kulanu Mesubin. Yay! You want to do the English? <laughs> On all other nights, we may eat chametz and matzah. Chametz and matzah on this night, on this night, only, only matzah. matzah. Mm -hmm. On other nights, we eat many vegetables. Many vegetables this night. I mean, on this night, on this night, meror. Meror. Okay. On all other nights, we do not dip even once. On this night, on this night, twice. On all other nights, we eat either sitting or re reclining. Reclining. Either sitting or reclining on this night. On this night, we will re we'll recline. We will recline. Amen. Let's, Let's give those two kids a hand. Yay! <laughs> See, we have we have the children do this. We have the children do this. Hicimos que los niños hagan esto. So that they can learn from the young age about why we're doing this. Así ellos pueden aprender en edad muy temprano que por qué hacemos esto. Okay. Um, now, what happens now is the Lord starts sending plagues. Lo que pasa ahora es que el Señor comienza a mandar plagas. Can you do the first plague, please? All right, get the kids. The kids, kids got to go see Miss Kelly real quick. Watch the camera. Watch the camera. Watch the camera. I had to finish my wine, man. <laughs> hey, the kids are going to partake. Now, 
What I'm going to have up on the screen there Lo que ven aquí en la pantalla is these plagues were not just any old plague. Es que estas plagas no eran cualquier plaga. Can, is it, is it, can you see it? No, I'll, I'll, don't worry about it. All right. These, these plagues were against gods. Estas plagas son en contra de unos dioses. They were just not random plagues. No eran solamente plagas. They, each plague elevated to a higher god. Cada plaga atacaba a un dios más alto. Showing that our God is king over all the Most, other kings. Mostrando que nuestro dios era más grande que los otros dioses. So the kids are, are just going to get some, some of the plagues to throw at you. Los niños van a traer unas plagas. So look scared when a flying frog comes <laughs> at you. Or if a, 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 a fake lice comes flying at you. Sí. Look scared. Okay. So, um... Well, we're not going to be throwing blood. Okay. <laughs> so the first plague that happened la primera plaga que ocurrió was uh, the plague of blood, of dam. La plaga de sangre. All the water in all of Egypt Todo el agua en Egipto turned into blood. Se tornó en sangre. The Nile River turned to blood. El río Nilo se tornó en sangre. And even the water that they drew out of the ground turned into blood. Incluso el agua de, de subterránea se tornó en sangre. And this was against the Nile god. Y eso era en contra del dios del Nilo. And against Osiris. Y en contra de Osiris. So this was against a god. Este fue en contra de un dios. Okay, are the kids almost ready with plague number two? Well, you're not going to throw blood. <laughs> Plague number two. Plaga numero dos. Zipardea, frogs. Las frogs plaga, came everywhere. Plaga. Come. Frogs, frogs are everywhere. <laughs> Careful. Eh, don't run, Jeremiah. Okay. Watch the camera. Okay, this this plague was against the, the goddess of the land Hecht. Esta plaga era en contra de la hey, Foster, go diosa back. Het. Connor, I want you to stay by that camera. Get off your butt while these kids are running back and forth. Okay, this was the wife of the creator of the world. Era la esposa del creador del mundo. Is that the frog? The frogs up there? Okay. Okay, so this was going up a level to the creator of the world. Subió al nivel de, 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 con el creador del mundo. Then the third plague. La tercera plaga. Do we got the third plague? We got any canats? Canats. Gnats and flies and, oh, no, flies is four. Yeah, uh, no, not mosquitoes. The Piojos. little, like, bugs that go, like, fly up your nose, the little, the little ones. Oh, las las mosquitas, mosquitos y moscos, zancudos. Okay, all right. So this next plague, this next plague was called Canim. Esta próxima plaga es llamada Canim. This was um, these little bugs that would burrow under your skin. Son esas plagas que se meterían dentro de tu piel. So imagine you're in your home. Imagínate en tu casa. And these bugs are climbing under your nails. Y estas plagas están metiéndose dentro de tu piel, en tus nariz, en tus orejas. Huh? Okay. That was number three. Eso okay. Número number dos, four. Número tres, número cuatro. Okay. Flies. Moscos. Okay. They were, then after that, the Lord came up with flies. Oh! Flies. And this plague, this plague was against a god called Amon Ra. Y esta plaga fue en nombre del del dios Amon Ra. So imagine going to sleep. Imagínate irte tú a dormir. 
and the flies were going in your ears y las moscas que comiencen a ir up a your tu nose hasta tu nariz, between your toes entre tus dedos, into your food en tu comida. Jeremiah you gotta do it quick these plagues went really fast <laughs> Okay, so you see up on the screen for you adults <laughs> that it's going up higher into what the Egyptians thought was really high gods. Entonces la próxima plaga sigue, seguía subiendo más de nivel, atacaba a otro dios que era más grande para Egipto. And the fifth plague, la quinta plaga, was a plague called Dever. La plaga llamada Dever. It was against the livestock. Era en contra del ganado. So imagine your steak just died. Imagínate tú. <laughs> your cow <laughs> just died. <laughs> <laughs> All your animals started to die. Do we have a plague of dead animals coming? Los animales comenzaron a morir. Do I have? Uh, uh, it's up on top of the microwave cart. You left your cow on the, the kitchen. The cow went on top of the microwave cart. It's uh, the mitten. <laughs> Everybody, number five. Hold, I gotta talk more about this fifth, fifth plague. Okay, this was this was a god Apis. He was a bull god. Era un dios de de no cómo es. The cow Una vaca. is dead. <laughs> he said, I can't take it anymore. I can't take living in Egypt no more. So this was the fifth plague. Esta era la quinta plaga. But then the sixth plague comes. Pero la sexta plaga vino. And this was against all men. Y esta estaba en contra de todos los hombres. The sixth plague was Shechem. Esta plaga era Shechem. And people got boils all over their body. Y la gente tenía um, llagas en su cuerpo. Imagine if you had boils on the bottom of your feet trying to walk around. Imagínate tener llagas en los pies y tratar de caminar. Imagine if you had boils on your legs all everywhere. Y llagas en tus piernas y en todo lugar. And this was against another god of Egypt. Este iba en contra de otro dios en Egipto. Okay, okay, we're going on to number seven. Oh, oh, the, oh, the boils are coming. Oh, look, you got to put boils on... Oh, here, give me boils. Oh, it was like this all over your skin. Boils, ah. And, and it was boils here on your, your face. It, it was terrible. Okay. Okay, bring the boils back. Next. Then we move on to the seventh plague. Nos movemos a la séptima plaga. The seventh plague. La séptima plaga. Oh, we have a Laying piper down. down. <laughs> Number seven. Número siete. Do we have hail coming? Eh, granizo. All of a sudden, hail came from heaven. De repente, granizo cayó del cielo. Remember, Egypt is a desert. Recuerden que Egipto es desierto. And hail came from heaven. Y el granizo cayó del cielo. And then lit up like fire. Y se prendió como fuego. And this was against Shu, the wind god. Y esto iba en contra del dios Shu. Del Here comes dios fire, hail! Here comes fire! Oh! Oh! Fire came from heaven in the form of hail. Oh! Fire! Fire! Okay. And this was against another god. Okay. Bring, bring the plague back. We're recalling the plagues. And then number eight. 
Número 8. Number 8. Plaga número 8. Was Arbe locusts. Era langostas, Arbe. Not langostas. Langostas. <laughs> and these, <laughs> these locusts <laughs> were everywhere. Era langostas. Eating langostas. up everything. Estas langostas estaban por Everything in lugar. sight. No son otros. Okay, <laughs> everything that the... Here comes locusts. Locusts. No, si se llaman langostas. Son langostas. Woo, langostas careful now, bien. careful, careful. Oh, and here, and here, the locusts are on my glasses. Okay, the locusts were everywhere. Okay, take the locusts back. All right. And then, get ready for the ninth plague. Get ready for the ninth. The ninth plague was, do it. Darkness. Darkness. Oh. Okay, and the darkness was over. <laughs> All right, now turn to Exodus chapter 12, please. Vámonos a Exodus 12. We're almost done, sort of. Sort of. Sort of. Well, I hope you're learning something. Have you ever had Passover like this before? Never, ever. You're off tomorrow. It's you know, Shabbat. You're just going to be back at 11. We got great food, right? Amen. I saw Connie making this incredible ambrosia. Oh, man, that looked good. The lamb is to die for. <laughs> well, the lamb did die. <laughs> I saw macaroni and cheese, I think. No? Yes. Well, yeah, yeah. Macaroni and then tomorrow, we're even treating you to turkey. Y mañana comeremos pavo. We got a free turkey the other day. We're like, Psh, we'll have it for own egg. Nos Cold quiero, turkey, baby. Tuvieron un pavo gratis y vamos a All comer right. own egg. All right. All right. Exodus chapter 12, verse 1 through 6. Exodus 12, del 1 al 6. I know I spoke to Moshe and Aaron in the land of Egypt. You are to begin your calendar with this month. It will be the first of the month of the year for you. Speak to all the assembly of Israel and say, On the tenth day of this month, each man is to take a lamb or kid for his father's house, one per household, except that the household is too small to hold lamb and kid, then he and the next door neighbor should share one, dividing it in proportion to the number of people eating it. Your animal must be without defect, a male in its first year. You may choose it from the goat, either the sheep or the goats. You are to keep it until the 14th day of the month. And then the entire assembly of the community of Israel will slaughter it at dusk. Amen? So it was at this point in este punto. that our God was going to show who was the king of life. Nuestro Dios iba a mostrar quién es el rey de la vida. So the very last plague la última plaga was a plague that would take life from every household in Egypt. Era la plaga que tomaría la vida en cada casa en Egipto. But how was God going to tell your house from the Egyptian's house? ¿Cómo iba Dios a diferenciar tu casa de la casa de los egipcios? Let's sit down, guys. Let's sit down, guys. Okay? How was God going to tell that your house Como Dios iba a decir, si tu casa was different than every other house in Egypt? Era diferente de las otras casas en Egipto. Let's, let's look at verse... Shh, quiet now. Quiet now. We're going to look at verse 7 through 17 now. Veamos el de verso al 7 al 17. It's very important. You are to take some blood and smeared on the two sides and the top of the door at the frame of the entrance of the house in which they eat it. That night they are to eat the meat roasted in fire. They are to eat it with matzah and maror. And boy, does it taste good. Don't eat it raw, boiled, but roasted in the fire. And it was on fire. With its head and lower parts of its legs and inner organs, let nothing remain until morning. And if it does remain, burn it up completely. Here is how you are to eat it. With your belt fastened, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand, you're to eat it hurriedly as Adonai's Pesach. 
For that night I will pass through the land of Egypt, kill the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both men and animals, and I will ex execute judgment against all the gods of Egypt. I am Adonai. The blood will serve you as a sign marking the house where you are. When I see the blood, I will Pesach you. When I strike the land of Egypt, the death blow will not strike you. This will be a day for you to remember and celebrate as a festival to Adonai. From generation to generation, you are to celebrate it as a perpetual regulation. For seven days, you are to eat matzah. The first day, remove the leaven from your houses. Whoever eats matzah from the first to the seventh day is to be cut off from Yisrael. On the first and seventh days, you are to have a, 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 an assembly set aside <coughs> for God. On these days, no work is to be done except what each must do to prepare his food. You may do, do only that. You are to observe the festival of Matzah, for on this very day I brought your divisions out of the land of Egypt. Therefore, you are to observe this day from generation to generation, a perpetual regulation. Amen? Amen. So it is that we had the children ask the question. Tuvimos a los niños haciendo las preguntas. We had the children involved with doing the plagues. Hicimos que los niños estén envueltos con las plagas. Because they're going to ask you, why are we doing this? Porque te van a preguntar, ¿por qué hacemos esto? So it's at this point. En este punto. Now we're going to take. Vamos a tomar. Some of this blood. Esta sangre. And if you all want to get up, you can. Y si quieren levantarse, pueden ir. And we're going to place it on the door, as it says in scripture. Y lo vamos a poner en las puertas, como dice en la escritura. Stinks. Stay away. It's not been refrigerated. Mm -hmm. No, it's kosher. Still stinks. Yeah, it stinks. <laughs> this is a blood from a kosher animal. This is a blood that Jen's brother Jamie sent up from the animal that he slaughtered for Passover. And as God said, you're to take some of the blood of the kosher animal. And you're to place it here, here, and here on the place where you're going to have the Passover. So your house will be marked. This house is marked for God's purposes. Amen? Where was Yeshua pierced? Here. Here. How did he bleed? Remember Abraham had the... The ram caught by the sticker bush, they put a crown of thorns on Messiah's head. He would have bled on the top of the wood. Okay? Amen. Now let's go sit down and finish our Passover and then we can eat. It stinks. Huh? I'm getting this stuff. Uh, no, that's good. Okay. See the blood. All right. Almost done. Yes, thank you. So this is a ceremony that was done. Yeshua did this ceremony. Esta es una ceremonia que fue hecha por Yeshua. This is supposed to be a perpetual regulation forever. Esta debía ser una, una regulación perpetua para siempre. Okay, this is what God wants us to do. Esto es lo que Dios quería que hagamos. And then we were finally released from our bondage that day. Y fuimos liberados finalmente de nuestro cautiverio. And also the Lord made a way for the Goyim to be with us. Look at verse 41 through 44. Veamos el verso 41 al 44. Shh, please, we're almost done. At the end of 430 years, a day to the day, all the divisions of Adonai <coughs> left the land of Egypt. This was a night when Adonai kept vigil 
to bring them out of the land of Egypt. And this same night continues to be a night when Adonai keeps vigil for all the people of Israel through all their generations. Adonai said to Moshe and Aaron, this is the regulation for the Pesach lamb. No foreigner is to eat it. But if anyone has a slave he bought for money, when you have circumcised him, he may eat it. Neither the traveled nor the hired servant may eat it. Adonai said to Moshe and Aaron, this is a regulation for the Pesach lamb. No foreigner is to eat it. But if anyone has a slave bought for money, when you have circumcised him, he may eat it. Amen? Amen. So any man that's here, Todo varón que está aquí, if you want to eat of the lamb this evening, si quieres comer del cordero en esta noche, you must be circumcised. Debe ser circuncidado. I am not checking. Yo no voy a chequear. My medical days are over at the moment. Mis días médicos terminaron por el momento. That's between you and God. Eso es entre tú y Dios. But I ask you not to eat of the lamb if you are not circumcised. But what is the circumcision? ¿Qué es la circuncisión? It is the covenant between God and his chosen people. Es el pacto de Dios y sus hijos. Abraham circumcised his children. Abraham circuncidó a sus hijos. And himself. Y él mismo. The guy was nuts. El hombre estaba loco. He circ you remember Abraham circumcised himself. Abraham se circuncidó el mismo. That without anesthesia. Sin anestesia. Okay. Now we're going to look to see why we are a royal priesthood. Ahora vamos a ver por qué somos un sacerdocio real. And why Yeshua chose this night. ¿Y por qué Yeshua escogió esta noche? Turn to Exodus 25, please. Vámonos a Exodus 25. Exodus 25. Exodus 25. Verse 1 through 9. Del 1 al 9. This is about the royal priesthood. Yes. Exodus 25, 1 through 9. Exodus 25, del 1 al 9. And I said to Moshe, tell the people of Israel to take up a collection for me, accept the contribution from any, accept the contribution from anyone who wholeheartedly wants to give. The contribution you are to take from them is to consist of gold, silver, bronze, blue, purple, scarlet yarn, fine linen, goat's hair, tanned ram skins and fine leather, acacia wood, oil for the light, spices for the anointing oil, and fragrant incense, onyx stones, other stones to be set as a ritual vest and a breastplate. They are to make me a sanctuary so that I may live among them. You are to make it according to the, everything I show you the design of the tabernacle and the design of its fur furnishings. This is how you are to make it. God wants places set aside. God wants places set aside. El, el lugar del Señor fue puesto a un lado. For his purpose. Para sus propósitos. How was the Mishkan, the tabernacle, designed? ¿Cómo fue el tabernáculo diseñado? It had a fence put up around it. Tenía una cerca puesta alrededor. And only those who were holy could go beyond the fence y, to the holy area. Y solo aquellos que eran santos podían entrar por esa cerca. What did we just put on the doorway? ¿Qué es lo que pusimos en la puerta? We put blood on our doorway. Pusimos sangre en la puerta. It made a fence that the angel of death would not go past. E hizo, hizo esto una cerca donde el ángel de la muerte no puede entrar. And the sacrifice had to happen for us that night on Passover. Y el sacrificio tuvo que pasar por nosotros en Passover. What is another part of the tabernacle? ¿Qué es otra parte del tabernáculo? The altar where you did your sacrifices. El altar donde se hacían los sacrificios. Where did you cook your lamb? Donde cocinaste tu cordero. People didn't have fires outside. La gente no tenía fuegos you had a little fire inside your house. Tenían fuegos dentro de la casa. So beyond the fence, Pasando la cerca, where you put the blood, donde pusiste la sangre, now you had the altar inside your house, ahora tenías el altar dentro de tu casa, separating you from the world, separando todo el mundo, and then you would sacrifice the lamb at dusk, y sacrificarías al cordero al atardecer. But then, if a foreigner wanted to be part of this Passover, pero si un extranjero quería ser parte de este Passover, a slave. Un esclavo. How much did you pay for a slave? ¿Cuánto pagabas por un esclavo? How much was paid for a slave in scripture? ¿Cuánto era pagado por un esclavo en la escritura? 30 pieces of silver. 30 pedazos de plata. How many, how much was Yeshua given up for? ¿Por cuánto fue Yeshua dado? 30 
pieces of silver. 30 pedazos de plata. Yeshua became a slave for us. Yeshua se convirtió en esclavo por nosotros. We're going to lift up the cup. Vamos a levantar la copa. Because at this point, there would be another cup of wine. Porque en este punto habría otra copa de vino. And Yeshua lifted up the cup and he said, Baruch atah Adonai, Elohim melaklam, borei peri hagafen. Amen. Amen. This is a cup of redemption. Esta es la copa de redención. A cup of redemption. La copa de redención. Turn to Matthew 26, please. Vámonos a Mateo 26. Matthew 26. Mateo 26. Verse 17 through 29. Del 17 al 29. Matthew 26. Mateo 26. Verse 17 to 29. Del 17 al 29. On the first day for Matzah, the Talmudin came to Yeshua. Where do you want us to prepare your Seder? Go into the city to so and so. He replied, and tell them, tell them that the rabbi says, My time is near, my Talmudin and I are celebrating Pesach at your house. The Talmudin did as Yeshua directed and prepared the Seder. When evening came, Yeshua reclined with, his, with the twelve Talmudin. As they were eating, he said, Yes. I tell you that one of you is going to betray me. They became terribly upset and began asking him one after the other, Lord, you don't mean me, do you? And he answered, the one who dips his matzah in the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The son of man will die just as the Tanakh says, he will. But woe to the man whom the son of man is betrayed. It would have been better for him if he had never been born. Yehuda, the one who was betraying him, then asked, surely, Rabbi, you don't mean me. He answered, the words are yours. While they were eating, Yeshua took a piece of matzah. He took a piece of matzah. Tomó una, un pedazo de matzah. And then he made a bracha and broke it and gave it to the Talmudin. Talmudin said, take it, eat. This is my body. He also then took a cup of wine. Tomó una copa de vino. And made a bracha. Hizo una bendición. And gave it to them saying, all of you, drink of it. Dijo todos, bebanla. Brukatad on ayol hini malakalam, borei peri hagafen. Amen. Amen. That was the third cup. This is the cup of uh, redemption. Esta es la copa de redención. I have to come back to it. You're doing what? was done 2,000 years ago. Estás haciendo lo que se hizo dos mil años atrás. In verse 28 and 29, Yeshua said, For this is my blood, which ratifies the, new, the renewed covenant, my blood shed on behalf of many, so that they may have their sins forgiven. I tell you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine again until the day I drink the new wine with you in my Father's kingdom. You're sitting at what he did 2,000 years ago. Estás sentado en lo que él hizo dos mil años atrás. You're drinking the wine. Estás tomando el vino. You're eating the matzah, just as he es, said. Estás comiendo la matzah, así como él lo dijo. And then he did something else. Y él hizo algo más. He took. Él tomó. Remember, this is about being a priesthood. Recuerden que esto es acerca de ser sacerdote. What was the final thing before the priesthood went into the holy place? ¿Qué es lo final que la, la, el sacerdocio hacía para, antes de llegar al lugar santo? Yeshua took the, the water. Yeshua tomó el agua. And he took off his robe. Y se sacó su uh, manto. And then he proceeded to wash the feet of the Talmudim. Y fue a lavar el, los pies de los Talmadín. Raising them up into a priesthood. Le, eh, levantándolos a sacerdocio. Passover is about becoming a priesthood. Passover es, se trata de convertirse en sacerdotes. Each man who is the head of his house. Cada hombre que es la cabeza de su casa. That first Passover. Es en esa primera Pascua. Put the blood on his door. Puso la sangre en su puerta. He set up the fence between death and life. El puso la cerca que dividía la muerte y la vida. He made a sacrifice. Hizo un sacrificio. Of a lamb. 
de un cordero. The altar of the sacrifice. El altar del sacrificio. He washed his hands at the beginning of the Passover. Lavó sus manos al principio del Passover. Yeshua then made them a priesthood. Yeshua entonces le hizo un sacerdote. As he washed each of the disciples' feet. Cuando lavaba los pies de los sacerdotes de los discípulos. Now there's one last part that's on this Seder dish. Hay una parte más que está en aquí en el plato de ceder. The slam bone. Este hueso del cordero. It's called a zoroa. Se llama zoroa. 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 Everybody want to say zoroa. Zoroa. What was the title that Yochanan gave to Yeshua? ¿Cuál es el título que Yochanan le dijo a Yeshua? Behold the elefante of the Lord. El elefante del Señor. Behold the camel of the Lord. El camello del Señor. Behold the burro of the Lord. El burrito del Señor. No, he called him the Lamb of God, right? Lo llamó el Cordero de Dios. Why is this lamb bone on our dish? ¿Por qué este hueso está en nuestro plato? It's called a zoroa. Se llama zoroa. But that's not really, it's not a lamb bone. Pero no es el hueso de un cordero. Turn to Isaiah 53. Vámonos a Isaías 53. Isaiah 53. Isaías 53. Isaiah 53. We're going to look at verse 1 first. Vamos a ver al verso 1 primero. Yeshayahu 53, Isaiah 53. Isaiah 53. Verse 1. Verso 1. Who believes our report? To whom is the arm of Adonai revealed? In verse 1, it says arm. En el verso uno dice brazo. In the Hebrew, it doesn't say arm. En hebreo no dice brazo. In the Hebrew, it says Zoroah. En hebreo dice Zoroah. In the Hebrew, it says Zoroah. En hebreo dice Zoroah. The lamb. El cordero. Now let's read the rest of Isaiah 53. El resto de Isaiah 53. We're going to read now verse 1 through 10. Vamos a leer del verso 1 al 10. Who believes our report? To whom is the arm, the Zoroa of Adonai revealed? For before him he grew up like a young plant, like a root out of dry ground. He was not well formed or especially handsome. We saw him but his appearance did not attract us. People despised and avoided him. A man of pains well acquainted with illness, like someone from whom people turned their faces. He was despised. We did not value him. In fact, it was our diseases he bore, our pains from which he suffered. Yet we regarded him as punished, stricken and afflicted by God. But he was wounded because of our crimes, crushed because of our sins. The disciplining that makes us whole fell on him, and by his stripes, by his stripes, we are healed. We all, like sheep, went astray. We turned one, each one to his own way, yet on and I laid on him guilt of us all. Though mistreated, he was submissive, he did not open his mouth. Like a lamb led to be slaughtered, like a sheep silent before its shears, he did not open his mouth. After forcible arrest and sentencing, he was taken away, and none of his generation protested his being cut off from the land of the living for the crimes of my people, who deserved the punishment themselves. He was given a grave among the wicked, in his death, he was a, with a rich man. Although he had done no violence and said nothing deceptive, yet it pleased Adonai to crush him with illness to see if he would present himself as a guilt offering. If he does, he will see his offspring and he will prolong his days and at his hand, Adonai's desire will be accomplished. Amen? Amen. 
the lamb that was slain la, el cordero que fue degollado. the arm of Adonai, el brazo de Adonai. by his stripes Por sus, uh, uh, líneas. we are healed Somos curados. he was bruised for our transgressions fue golpeado por nuestras transgresiones. the sins of us all Los pecados de todos nosotros. crushed him le, le, um, cross, le aplastaron. and by his stripes we get to go into the promised land y por sus líneas vamos a ir a la tierra prometida. tonight is the night Esta noche es la noche that Yeshua que Yeshua chose to have his last meal Escogió el tener su última cena. His blood su is on the wood. Es en el madero. The lamb's blood La separates del us no separa from the world. Del mundo. The Zoroah, the, Zoroah. the arm of the Lord, is revealed. El brazo del se del Señor es revelado. Tonight is a night of redemption. Esta noche es la noche de redención. Tonight is a night of that God overcame the world. Esta noche es la noche que el Señor sobrepasó el mundo. Tonight is the night that he took the lives of those who will not follow him. Esta noche es que tomó la vida de los que no lo seguirían. Our master says, Nuestro ma dueño dijo, I will not drink of no, this cup no tomaré de esta copa until I drink it again with you hasta que lo beba con ustedes anew nuevo. in my Father's kingdom. In the reign of my Father. Hak Sameach Pesach. Amen. Amen. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melchalam Barei Peri Hagafen. Amen. Why don't we just pray over the food and we can eat the lamb. Amen. 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 All right. Why don't we just bow our hearts for a moment. Thank you, Adonai, for your blessings today. Thank you, Adonai, for everything you're doing. Thank you for your word. May we um, partake of your food tonight as you are our Zoroah, as you are our Lamb of God. We look to you, our King. And we thank you for everything that you've done. Let this word go forth that more may know and turn their hearts to you. In your name, Yeshua. And everybody said, Amen. 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 Let's eat. <laughs>